Boom. It is day 23 of the No Media series. For all you new viewers out there, the No Media series is where I disconnect from social media and all the rest of the media sources like news, podcasts, YouTube videos, all of that stuff to try and go back in time and sort out my own life because, you know, all of this information is infiltrating your mind and trying to change your life from how it's actually supposed to be lived. We're not supposed to be informed all of the time about unnecessary activities, unnecessary things that are going on in the world. We are not benefiting from that. So I'm trying to go back and I'm doing things my way. I hope that my arm does not seize up during the recording of this video. I've hit my biceps quite hard today. So while I was washing my face, you know, and getting ready for bed, like brushing my teeth, my right bicep was just like locking up. I couldn't move my arm. So at the moment I'm holding my phone with my, ooh, with my right hand and it is getting painful. Like every second is pain. So I'll try and make this short. <laughs> Anyways, I was in the sauna today and coincidentally I was talking to these guys and one of them, he's around 47 and the other guy is around 60. So yeah, the guy that was 60 was like, I don't know how you guys go on social media, you know, how, how the hell do you even manage to do that? Like there's so much dirt on social media. And your man that was 47, he was like, yeah, I'm trying to go off. Like, you know, I'm, I have such an addictive personality. And he was just saying how much it affected his mental health and all of that. And he's 47. So I'm thinking, man, this guy has lived like 20 something years without social media. And then boom, life changes, you know, so informed, so unsocial. It's like, so we were talking about it for a couple of minutes and I told him what I'm, what I was doing, like disconnecting from the social media and, you know, telling them about the no media series. And they're like, no way. Like, that's so cool. So they said, yo, it's such a young age to be doing that. Like, you must be getting so many positives. And I was like, yeah, I am getting so many positives, you know. I've been speaking about them for 23 days now. So, again, if any of you are watching this, I recommend doing this. And, yeah, that means you're not going to watch my videos. And I'm not a good salesman. I'm not a, yeah, I'm not good at this stuff. I don't care. You do the No Media Series. Don't watch my videos. It's all for the positive and for the benefit of your life and health and mental health and all of that. So, yeah, this is basically where I document, for all you new viewers again, this is where I document what I am feeling every single day when I disconnect from all of this garbage. And yeah, time. Time becomes abundant. And, you know, I think time is a bit too precious to waste on things that are so unnecessary in our lives like social media. I really want to ask you a very important question, okay? So please try and come up with one positive. Oh, actually, you know what? That'll be a little bit too easy. Come up with two positives. Now that's hard. Come up with two positives to social media. Come up with two positives to media overall. Being informed. Being polluted with information. Tell me the positives of that. What is the positive of being informed all of the time what changes in your own life for the fact that you are so informed and so bombarded with information left right and center what positives change like what positive changes occur in your lives because of all of this information flow to be honest i tried to think about that and i thought about it before i even started the series and the only positive that i could come up with like one positive right there's only one positive to the whole thing entertainment entertainment right entertainment can be good sometimes sometimes when we're bored sometimes when we're like really like have nothing else to do entertainment is cool like playing video games sometimes like yeah like i used to play so many video games like yeah i'm not really into that kind of stuff right now but yeah, it can, it can be cool. It can be cool in like a group setting, like with friends. Entertainment's very good. You can get entertained by yourself by doing things that are, you know, not instant gratification. Something that are delayed gratification. Like you can entertain yourself in ways that compile into a net positive in your life. But if we look at entertainment as a whole... And just realize that entertainment, like social media and all of the other media, like everything that I'm talking about for the 23 days of this series, 
is basically hedonism. Entertainment from social media, from all the other media sources, from, you know, series, podcasts, everything like that. It's, it's kind of just hedonism. It's entertainment. The access to the information is very easy and the choice of information is very... What's the word? Yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is we, we are not really having a choice of how much or what we consume when we even listen to podcasts or when we go on social media. But there's no choice. You're being fed information. So it's a little bit too easy. So we need to work a little bit for the information. That way it's memorable. That way we actually soak it in. That way it actually becomes important. So and now I want to speak a little bit about importance of information and stuff like that. So when you disconnect from social media, just like I did and all the other medias, the your own information, like stuff you read, stuff like you talk about with other people, like physical conversations, they become way more important. They become more memorable. They can become more important. And you actually pay attention. Like your attention span is back to normal. Like my attention span is back to normal. I can pay attention to every single conversation. I know all the details. I'm not zoning out. All of that stuff becomes very important and it's transferable to the person that you're speaking to, especially like I'm, I'm talking about just physical conversations now. So if you're having a conversation with someone and, you know, you're making eye contact, you're listening, you can really, really feel the engagement of the other person changing, that they become more interested because now you're paying attention. They know that you're interested. They know that you're talking to them with full attention. No, you know, no zoning out, no mind. Um, What's the word? No mind farts, <laughs> brain farts or whatever they're called. Brain fog. Brain fog is the word I'm looking for. So there's no brain fog. And, you know, the conversation flows better. It's like it's way more natural. There's no there's no awkwardness. It's just flow. There's a flow state. If you don't know anything about flow state, it's it's a very good thing. Anyways, I said I'm going to keep this short. So like my my intentions are always to film a three minute video or even like less, but I always end up talking too much. I don't know. Like, I'm really curious. Yeah. So you watching this video right now, if you watched all the way to the end, like congratulations, because like it's so hard to watch a video like this unedited and just unscripted all the way to the end. Because like every single video on YouTube is now, you know, edited is so hyper. Yeah. It's messing up our brains. But anyways, I want to ask you a question. So how fast does time go when you watch my videos? Do you feel like the eight minutes just going by so quick just because I'm talking all the time? Or does it go slow? Like, Because sometimes when you watch something, time goes so slow. But then sometimes it goes really fast. So yeah, all I want to know is how fast does time go when you watch my videos? So that... Subscribe, like, comment, all of that stuff to help the channel channel grow and to, you know, for YouTube to show my videos to other people. I think that's important for me. So thanks for watching and as always, peace.